Alright, howdy folks, welcome back to The Witcher 3 playthrough episode. I'm a new race teach. You're a bigger rat picker than me. Hey, cocker. No, oh, shut up. Welcome back to The Witcher 3 playthrough episode 111. Calm down, mutants. Sorry. I ain't mean it. Oh, geared? Look what I have. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wings, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches are sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. I do not care to play Gwent. Your band chosen some interesting specimens. Interesting? How so? Common carouses and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. Hmm. Nice saber. What is his sword? First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. France about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel. In Shaber's eager to face Olgier von Eberen, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. All right, well, I forgot the house. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. He's going to be very shocked that we were able to retrieve this. That's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. <laughs> the papers, where are they? You didn't ask for them. Left them in the vault. You wanted the house, you got the house. Never mentioned its contents. Huh. A quick study. Already as tricky as Odim himself. Keen to ridicule a man. Do you know what I and the company do with your type? Dying to hear. No. Dying to hear, though. Always like to tail with a thrill. I, mean, I love Geralt. Neither am I. Did my job, Olgird. Delivered what you asked for to the letter. I'm happy. Hell, should have chosen your words more carefully. Yes. I should have. I assume you came to an agreement with Horst. Shame. A right horse in that one. Made a deal with his brother, who then beat the living shit out of Horst with a gold candle holder. <laughs> it's progress. Why you want the papers? Yeah, that's a question. Why did you even question. need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see... I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatane. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Aim to deliver those papers to the right hands. Or so dear, would have landed in the streets. The hospital would have gotten the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give Geralt it seeing enough. right through it. <laughs> Let it wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. Well, what's your gripe? Or Sodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Yeah, I am. 
Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed it but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah, Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tankard. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. I have to imagine. It's our boy Odum. What happened then? Master Mirror. Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. You need something? Nothing more, don't think. I'm off to entertain your brother. Break a leg. Literally. All right, well. Sick. All right, talk to Shawnee about the Von Everick family crypt. Cool, so now we're going for the brother. His Majesty King Radovid is a stern ruler. Long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> the medic working at the doctor's office makes sense. Give me all this stuff. Of Saracania. Nope. Don't care about that. A doll. Oh. Open it. Oh, hello. She's not down here, but it's worth a gander. Old sheepskin. Sometimes there's stuff. And there is plenty of stuff. I don't know how much it's really going to help me, but there's stuff. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A fox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Amish don't got any metal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Well. <laughs> so, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Oh, I. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a channel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. Oh yeah, gosh. Lucky bastard with you. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? No, nah, I got two. I got two sorceresses. Um 
She's not my type. There's no denying her beauty, but she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. Oh, I gotta switch my it's a strong solution. So careful with I the gotta dosage. switch my uh Each clothes patient back. gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most in three, four days the infection should recede. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I they wonder if we're gonna get any Triss and Redanians is Yen in the, I'd have this no story. Guardians as well, I don't think I so, but... Kedwenis, Adernian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other... Hmm, must have been oh, wow. Zima. Um, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. <laughs> need your help. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah. Uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Uh, I killed a prince and was taken prisoner. Where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince. And Ophiri wanted that. Hmm. And I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Don't really know. Frankly, I don't really know. He but I'm in his debt. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. A concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Shawnee. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> neither do I. But I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or... Hmm. Famous Redanian dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin, Von Everick. Igrid would not be it above it because it's got an E. Or it's got a Y. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Okay. We got a friend. Mm. I'm gonna steal your stuff. 
There's the books, huh? That's funny. What else you got in here? Just a bunch of books. What a nerd. Sorry. I did a clinic call. Oh, shoot. This is a quest. I oh, know it's not. Why is this so morbid? Feels like the coloring is whack. Alright, I have, I have. What do I have on? Did this even have. Oh, it did have stuff on it. 195. 195, I mean. Put that back on, put that back on. Put that back on. I look freaking sick, dude. <laughs> Let's do some Quinn signs. Let's do a Quinn sign and uh, that sign and a little bit of this and that. Alright, um. I am fine on weight. The mark of a dangerous guild. I gotta find the, uh... I've gotta find the entrance to this. There it is. The post. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Alright, and we've gotta go way northwest. Not way, but... Erda. That'll bring us relatively close, and then we can yonk. Oh my gosh, Roach. Thank you for finally coming a little bit close go, to go. me. There's the estate. I just kill them both. I Let's did. Go. I just murdered two deer. This place is beautiful. Go, go. Shawnee. I like how they always play that same horse animation. That's funny. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Whose? A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's from the academy speaking of which would you go with shawnee's me? a love interest sure <laughs> sure why not wonderful so it's a date remember to bring the sensor of course some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel wasn't sure what you needed it for so i also took a mix of amber aniseed and juniper all rather smoky when lit Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? We shall. Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. I'm not trying to attack the target. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm trying to put on the lamp, oh, but it's fine. That looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. All right, Shawnee. If peace. Any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Well, there's coin on the ground, so.
Oh, that's not a, it's not a lamp. That's why. I could pull out a lamp. Dang, and it don't work for nothing. All right, whatever. It's locked. Keys required. Race. Knew this wouldn't be easy. Did you swing, girl? What's going on? I can't swing. Oh, it's because I have the sensor out. What is going on? This sucks. Dang, man. I don't know how to get out of this. This sucks. There we go, finally. My heavens. Sure hope so. Should look around. Golly, what was that glitch? That was weird. What's that glitch? Is because I pulled something out. Votive fire. Lit in honor of the dead. Old custom. Alexei. Age 19, beloved son and brother. I know I can do that. Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von Everett. There we go. Son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt. Every room. Well, let's check this first. You have a new quest time. Prepare it for use by placing... Okay. Life and death, fire and blood, arise from the dust, 
he whose blood I have brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Hmm. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. There's so much down here, though. Gold your beer ring, that'll sell. Here we go. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood. Life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Wow. Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? Huh. It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is, how this mortal obtained the family's blood? For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet all geared, you will never see again. Ah, shoot. I uh, got uh, magic traps, probably. Kill him, Von Everix. For all geared's blood. Come on. Sons, those for Emmerich, eh? Who are you? Vladimir. The rogue you seek. Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a... Mutual acquaintance of mine and all geared's. I'm here on business. I'm a swiving corpse with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True. We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. 
Naturally, with raids comes loot. So we always had the means to celebrate right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? I want to know how he died, yeah. I'm Don't actually pretty... Cry, but just a little curious how he died. I am curious. Ah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how did it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit and provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. Listen, it feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Olgeard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Listen, Olgir gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! <laughs> You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? <laughs> Can't lift a tanker to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I go nowhere. Oh. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Come on, we're wasting time. I'm not to waste time. Sir, time is all I've left. You this big a pain in the ass when you were alive, too? Do not anger me, boy. If I've but one night, I want to revel properly, not watch others enjoy themselves. Hmm. So what do you propose? I've an idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Oh, shoot. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smell and salts? 
Am I Vladimir? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? <laughs> yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? <laughs> Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? It's his fault. It's his fault. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you, my sweet. Whose? His. You know, Olgierd's brother. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life. Which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain <laughs> what's going on here? Ooh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me. <laughs> but off and on he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. This is wagged. Right then, sure. Let's say you we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. Uh Don't change the subject, darling. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Oh. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. I hate this guy. I shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony? Go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. <laughs> what in the world? I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. Everybody keeps telling me and that. that but I'll take it. Than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost. Are you her paramour? What is a paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the haylofts we shall devastate together. We're just friends, always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions. No. Confessions. Well, maybe Geralt had... between us. 
You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful day, stunning. So, <laughs> soft in the head or the loins. Excuse me. Ah, the pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. Oh, that's crazy. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward, I'll be right behind you. Let me guess, he can't leave the crypt. Hopefully he can. Do I only get to play as Geralt or I get to be Holkeard sometimes? Grave robber. Tried to crawl in through the well and broke his neck. Meaning the scabby runt wished to rob our family crypt. Are you a witcher or a scavenger? I'm taking all your stuff. Stuff is growing on. What is down here? that I'm gonna finish this little section and I'm gonna call it an episode Eventually, we're going to have to leave this place. Ah, I see. Comes back around here. Could you get up there? Oh, he can get up there. Oh. Well. Oh, well, that's where you found the crypt key, so I guess it's really not that important. All right. Sounds good. Let's walk out of the crypt and then uh, we'll go to the farm to meet Shawnee for that wedding. This whole witch's life, what's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Hey, Roach. Those signs, I'd like to try one. What signs? Your witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. I guess so. Um, we'll finish this in a little bit then. Uh, or tomorrow. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's episode... Yeah, I don't do that for the series. Bye.